I'm going to fly through this process right now and then after I've done this then you can watch the other 14 minutes of this video where I do it real slow but I need a thumbnail for one of my videos and I'm gonna go file I'm going to open I'm gonna open one of my pictures called onion ring snapshot I'm gonna click open there's my onion ring snapshot. I'm going to go windows, dockable dialogues. I need tool options. That's a good one. i go back to windows. I need dockable dialogues. I need layers. All right, there's a good one. Okay. I go to, I go over here and I'm going to add me, a, I'm going to add a layer. So, okay. I'm going to work with this layer, go to tools, find text, I'm going to draw me a text box, and I'm going to say onion rings, O-N-I-O-N R-I-N-G-S, onion rings, and they could be left, right, or center justified. I'm going to go with center, I'm going to highlight them, I want them bold, and I want them, I want them on it bigger not not quite that big there we go all right now that is on the top layer I highlight the top layer I hit it with my right mouse button I go down here to the bottom I click alpha to selection it's highlighted onion rings I go to the layer below it and I go up here to the top left and I click select and I click grow. I'm going to grow it by, I'm going to grow this in by five pixels. You see the outline there. And I am going to fill that with another color. I think I like red this time. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to fill with the foreground color. I am now, I now have outlined onion rings. Go to select, click none. Go to image, flatten image, we are done. I go to file and I click uh, export, not save, but export. And I'm gonna call it onion ring snapshot six. Click export. Click export, it's done. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen, and that's how you do it. Now, I did that in three minutes, but I promise you, the next 14 minutes is the exact same thing, nice and slow. I hope this video helps you, because God, every time I watched it, some kid on YouTube was doing it that fast right there, and there was no way I could keep up with him. But once, once you get the hang of it, then you can do it too. It took me a while. All right. So go back, so uh, pull you up a picture if you want to, but uh, now comes the slow one. Thank you. Bye. Well, how you doing, folks? Old Pawpaw's here, and I'm going to show you how to outline text on a photograph or just on a background. The idea being that maybe you want to make a fancy thumbnail for a YouTube video. Or you just want to make something fancy for a video you've made. Anyway, how to outline using GIMP. And this is GIMP point, uh, 2 point, 8 point something or other. It's a free download. I use Movie Maker, which is a free software to do my YouTube videos. So I haven't spent a bunch of money on different programs. So I want to show you how to do this for free. You download GIMP, G-I-M-P, but you already know that because that's what we're talking about here today. That's what it's all about, and that's what it said in the title. But anyway, we're going to start off, and I prefer to do this over a photograph. And then that's my thumbnail, and people see that when they're scanning through and they, you know, looking at the the YouTube uh, videos that are available for a subject they're looking up and if you got an attractive thumbnail or attractive picture 
you're more likely to get a view. So, uh, I want you to first of all look in your computer and see if you can find a photograph that you could play with and do this. And you can go ahead and pause this video if you need to go look for, look for a picture. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to file. I'm going to take you real slow. I'm old and we're going to learn how to do this together. Real simple. But to have these young people explain it on YouTube, it, it drives me crazy. They fly through it. You're going to go right up here to file. And we're going to open. Now, if I just want to have a white background, I would just say new. Create a new image. But I'm going to open an image file. Okay? I'm going to open. And in my pictures, I've got all kinds of different stuff. And I'm going to open up this onion rings that you just saw. I'm going to open that one. And here we are. No writing or anything on it, okay? And I'm going to close that other window because I don't need it. All right. So here we are. And I'm going to adjust the size of this so, so it's easier for you to see. Okay. Hope I haven't made that too big. Let's see. Can you see that? Yeah, I can bring it in a little bit. A bit more. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, I have an image, and I want to talk to you about how GIMP works. GIMP uses layers, and we're going to use three different layers in making our image file or making this thumbnail. The bottom is going to be this picture, okay? The next layer up is going to be the outline of the text. And the top layer will be the actual text, okay? So I need a couple of windows to open up here and they're dockable dialogues. One of them is tool options. I just went, I went up here to windows. I click dockable dialogues and I click tool options. And this gives me my tool options and I'm gonna just move it right over here. I wanna keep it where you can see it, but I'm just gonna move it right over here out of the way. And I'm also going to go back to windows, another dockable dialogue and I'm going to have my layers, okay, layers. And that's all I have to have open in order to do this, okay. And we're going to work with three layers and I'm going to go ahead and add them right now. And we're going to do it right down here. A little icon out there says create a new layer and add it to the image. All right, I'm just going to click it and say okay. And now then, I have two layers here. And I'm going to do it again. This is totally different than the kids tell you how to do this because I'm going to do it the easy way. Now, I've got three layers here. And on my top layer, I'm going to put the words onion rings. Okay? I could say French fried onion rings. I can say anything I want to. But I'm just going to say onion rings. And what I need to do now is I need to go up here and find text. And I believe that's under tools. It is. I click tools and I come down here to text. All right. And I want to drag me with my mouse. I'm going to drag a box, a text box. Okay, right there. And I'm going to type into this box the word words onion rings. Okay? So I'm just going to click in here. I just clicked in the box anywhere. And I type onion rings. Onion rings. Okay? Now, I've got it right here in the middle. And that's too small for me. I want them bigger. So I'm going to go right up here in this little box and I'm going to 
increase the size of the word onion rings okay I'm not gonna get crazy with it I'm just showing you how it's done and I want my lettering to be bold so I'm gonna go right over here and I'm gonna click this tab that says bold and now them onion rings is bold and we'll click over here out of the way anywhere to deselect it and now then you can see onion rings in yellow well let's let's say I don't want it in yellow or let's say that when you typed it in when you typed it in it was over here to the side or it was over on the right these buttons right down here are your left right and center justification okay now I want mine centered because that's just the way I'm doing it now if I wanted it off to one side if I want to get a little creative I could uh, hit, hit, hit enter and have the word onion rings and move it over to the left by clicking the left justified thing you know if I didn't want to block my smiling face okay but I'm gonna hit delete space and now then I'm gonna center it again because that's just the way I want to do it for this for this exercise all right now uh, we want to maybe I don't want it to be yellow let me change the color I highlight I highlight the uh, lettering and I go right up here to change the color of that text and I'm going to pick red and I'd be that right there I'm just picking a color now I click OK and now then onion rings is in red all right and I'm going to get rid of a I don't need to do it anyway over here to our right you'll see that my top layer says onion rings I click that and I can see it okay now then here is the trickiest thing in the whole in the whole daggum arrangement and it's remembering to do this I'm going to right click that, la that layer and I'm going to go down here to the bottom where it says alpha to selection alright we click that and then I get a little fancy thing going on with my uh, onion rings there now remember what I said the top layer is going to be my text but the next layer is going to be my outline so I'm coming down here to my next layer and I, I want to outline this right here so I'm going to go up here to select and I'm going to make I want that lettering to grow okay I want to make it bigger so I'm going to grow it and it could be any any amount I want to grow it by how many pixels I think I'll do it eight pixels I click OK and now then you see I've got a an outline going around those letters now if I didn't want that much outline I could change it and have you know maybe two pixels or whatever but that's something for you to play with and now then I want to make that that outline a certain color alright so I highlight the layer I'm working with and what color we want to put on outside of red I could use the yellow that's already up but I want to show you how to pick something different let's pick this light green I happen to have here it could be any color you want click OK and I'm going to go up here to edit and I'm going to fill it with a foreground color boom now then I'm outlined only two steps only ah, one step left now then I've got all these different layers over here and it actually 
uh, added a layer on its own. But I want to turn these off for just a minute because I want you to see what each layer is. The bottom layer is onion rings. Let me go select, select none. Okay. My bottom, my bottom layer that I can see, see my eyeball, it's let me see that the bottom layer is my picture. My next to my top layer is the outline and the top layer is the text. So that orange is sitting, or that red onion rings is sitting on top of that green. See, let me turn it off, see that? And then we have this picture. So you've got onion rings on top of green on top of the picture, all right? And that's how this works. So now I'm gonna go up here to layer I'm sorry, image. I'm going to go to image and I'm going to flatten the image. And when I click flatten, I want you to watch over here to your right. Those four layers become one. So I have flattened that image and it, it's all on one sheet now. And then I'll go up here to file and I will export. I'm not going to save this, I'm going to export it. If I save it, it's going to save it as a as a GIMP file, and I want to save it as a file that I can work with YouTube or any other uh, photo uh, enhancing stuff. And because I'd pulled up the picture Onion Ring Snapshot, that's what it's wanting to call it again, I'm just going to go up here and call it Onion Ring Snapshot 3, okay, just to give it a different name so that I still keep my original onion ring snapshot. I go down here and I export. And I hit export again. And we have saved this picture with onion rings on it as uh, onion ring snapshot three. Okay, so that's all there is to it. I hope that was as clear as mud. Watch it a few times or pull you up a picture or do a hit file and hit new, file and new, hit OK. And what you can do is you can start with a, a white uh, base, you know, a white uh, background layer instead of a picture. You don't have to use a picture. But, uh, See if you can follow along with me on that. I believe it'll, it'll help you, and, and I hope it, you understand the way this layers works. All right. Well, y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye.